You want some of this? You want some of this? Yeah? <laughs> this video is cringe overload. If you guys have any protective gear, I recommend getting it out now. This is like a fatal dose of radiation. Like you might feel okay at first, but you will be dead in three days. A painful, slow death. Oh my God, Elon, what is wrong with these people? I don't know. I've never seen anything so bad on YouTube. <laughs> gonna be clogging you up real good. You won't be able to take a good dump for a few weeks. <laughs> what the f***, dude? A good dump? Is that what they say in Australia? <laughs> Until every cage is empty, we will not shut up. Whoa! This woman seems really angry. I should send her my hate hat. Calories does she need to eat? How much food does she need to eat? What's important to remember on a plant-based diet is that we actually have to eat a Look, check this guy out. He's even bored in his own videos. He's like a statue. He's probably thinking, is this woman gonna shut up? <laughs> yeah, and people think I look stoned in our videos. Oh, Ela, <laughs> roasted! Rat losers. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today's video from one cringy couple to another is for Ethan and his wife, Ela, from the awesome channel H3H3 Productions. If you watch them, then you'll understand that opening skit. If you don't watch them, then that opening would have been super weird. Sorry. <laughs> now, this is the first channel that we've made a response video for that we actually watch, so we're having fun with this. We know their humor might not be for everyone in our audience, but we love these guys and find them hilarious and very talented. We're reaching out to Ethan and Ella because their recent video, Pepsi Saves the World, which was one of their best videos by the way, kept repeating that Pepsi gives you diabetes. You want me to lose my leg to diabetes? It tastes like um, diabetes. Have you ever tasted diabetes before? No. Live for now so you don't have to deal with the having one leg amputated from diabetes from drinking Pepsi. With an audience of 3.7 million people, we thought it was important to clear up this common misunderstanding. Now, before we get into this, please make no mistake, we are not saying that soft drink is healthy. Absolutely not. It's not healthy, but it's not the cause of diabetes. And just to clarify, we're referring to type two diabetes throughout this video. Just like Ethan and Neela and everyone else, yeah. we too grew up believing that soft drinks and sugar caused diabetes. And it wasn't until we were in our thirties that we educated ourselves with the science and learned that in fact it was fat, not soft drinks or sugar, that caused diabetes. Here's a muscle cell. Here's some blood sugar outside waiting patiently to come in. Insulin is the key that unlocks the door to let sugar in our blood enter the muscle cell. When insulin attaches to the insulin receptor, it activates an enzyme, which activates another enzyme, which activates two more enzymes, which finally activates glucose transport, which acts as a gateway for glucose to enter the cell. So insulin is the key that unlocks the door into our muscle cells. What if there's enough insulin but the insulin doesn't work. The key is there, but something, something's gummed up the lock. This is called insulin resistance. Our muscle cells become resistant to the effect of insulin. What's gumming up the door locks in our muscle cells, preventing insulin from letting sugar in? Fat. What's called intramyocellular lipid, fat inside our muscle cells. Fat in the bloodstream can build up inside the muscle cell, creating toxic fatty breakdown products and free radicals that can block the signaling pathway process. So no matter how much insulin we have out in our blood, it's not able to open the glucose gates and blood sugar levels build up in the blood. But we can decrease insulin resistance, the cause of prediabetes, the cause of type 2 diabetes, by decreasing saturated fat intake. So if the science shows us that saturated fat causes diabetes, but Pepsi doesn't contain any saturated fat, then Pepsi obviously can't be the cause of diabetes. 41 grams of sugar in this one can. That's like this much sugar full to the top. 
The sugar in Pepsi only contributes to insulin resistance because of the buildup of saturated fat. And what are the top sources of saturated fat in the American diet? Animal products. And this is what we found ironic, Ethan, and why we were motivated to make this video. You mistakenly accused Pepsi of causing diabetes, and yet only days earlier, for over 20 minutes, millions of people watched you eat chicken, the fifth top source of saturated fat in the American diet, and therefore the fifth top contributor to the cause of diabetes. And you were washing the chicken down with milk, another top contributor to the cause of diabetes. In fact, 15 of the top 15 sources of saturated fat are either animal products or foods which typically contain animal products. This is why President of the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, Dr. Neil Barnard, whose scientifically proven program for reversing diabetes is three times more effective than other diet plans, recommends... Get the animal products out of your diet. No meat, no dairy, no eggs. And keep the oils really low. That'll go a long way toward preventing this disease. Now the skeptic in you might be thinking, if it's true that diabetes is caused by saturated fat, found primarily in animal products and foods which typically contain animal products, then surely the American Diabetes Association would be recommending against eating them, right? Wrong. But how could this be? Well, as uncovered in the brilliant new film, What the Health, the American Diabetes Association has taken money from, surprise, surprise, some of the corporations that sell animal products. And how did the chief scientific and medical officer of the ADA react when confronted with the signs that a vegan diet was more effective at controlling and even reversing diabetes than the ADA recommended diet? If that's where you want to go with this, I'm sorry, I'm not the person that you should be talking to. The European, European Association of Stade. Everyone has to watch this film, it's mind-blowing. So although Ethan and Ila's video about Pepsi was a joke and it was hilarious, it was also very misleading yeah. and it's important that people have the right information about how to avoid developing one of our leading causes of death. Now late last year, Ethan's mother suffered some really serious heart problems and Vegan Gains made a great video reaching out to Ethan and informing him about how animal products, which are high in saturated fat and cholesterol, cause heart disease. Some months after that, we were happy to hear that Ethan was eating oatmeal yeah. and also that he dropped some weight. And we were wondering, had he taken some of Vegan Maybe. Gains' advice on board? As it turns out in the recent First We Feast video, Ethan mentioned that he's losing weight by... The first thing I did is just cut the portion huge, eating like oatmeal, hard-boiled eggs, steamed broccoli. I hate my life, but I'm losing weight. Well, Ethan, we're here to tell you the good news is that life doesn't have to be this no. way, and you can still enjoy delicious food without cutting portions and still lose weight. And most importantly, keep it off long-term by dropping the animal products altogether. We're going to send you over to the Forks Over Knives website and you'll find so many healthy plant food recipes. We've made some of these recipes ourselves and they are so easy and delicious. A healthy diet doesn't need to feel like a life sentence. You should enjoy your food and eat as much as you care for, no cutting portions. All you have to do is switch the source of your calories from animal products to predominantly whole plant foods. Ethan and Ila, we hope you're watching this and thank you so much for all the great laughs, guys. And we hope that you take this advice on board yeah. to keep you healthy and making people laugh for many years to come. To our audience, help us share this video with Ethan and Ila. Their social media is linked down below. Leave us a comment and don't forget to smash that like button! <laughs> and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh god, make sure you ding the bell and check the box to receive notifications for our upcoming content. We don't do this all the time, by the way. <laughs> and remember until next time that going vegan is not the most we can do. It's the least we can do. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Is this what you want, YouTube? Is this what you want? <laughs> mm-hmm. Dollar Shave Club, guys. Yeah. <laughs>